Hey everybody, it's me Tracy again. Today I'm going to do a lamp. Two of them. Somebody want lamps. So I'm going to do it today. I'm always about a challenge. Most of the challenges is going to be trying to do stuff with the one arm. Which I'm not left in the But um, I don't think it's going to be that hard to do. As long as my other hand can move. So I got, I'm going to do Barbie. I got this Barbie. And I got this Barbie to put on the lamps. So I'm going to trim them all. I'm trying not to throw too much paper on the floor because leaning over makes my shoulder hurt. So I don't have nobody to clean up my crab room. Y'all know how messy that gets. So I'm just going to sit here and cut these side pieces out. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's see what I can do. Let's get this here lamp. <laughs> so I'm just put the, the paper on it. Add some glue. I didn't know it was a lot of people getting this rotated cuff surgery. A lot of people say they, oh, they had it too, they had it too. I'm like, wow. They didn't say how they tore theirs out, but this is some serious stuff. Everybody tearing their rotator cuff, huh? videos has already been done on how to do these lamps but these videos are now going to be motivational videos for people with limited abilities because of surgeries and some other things that they said they had done. People call me all the time and tell me they had this done, they had that done, they don't think they can do crafting no more, they're depressed. Listen, you can't let it be this. So I'm gonna do this lamp. And, uh, and they still can get these lamps. I don't know if they still have this shape. They have a different shape now. It's in Dorham, North Carolina, where I drove eight hours, three times up there to get these lamps. So, me doing these videos is therapy for me. For not crafting therapy like for my arm, but just mental therapy. That's what this is. Mental therapy. That's all. Mental therapy. Everybody needs some mental therapy. So... I did pretty good. It's on there. I'm gonna add some, maybe some black trimming on the side here. Um, so that's one down. I'm on my second one. If I don't come in my craft room and do this, and do something. I mean, the, the road to recovery for this rotated cuff is gonna be long. I don't wanna go in depression. So I gotta keep busy. Basically all I'm doing is sitting in the house right now, just watching African movies all day. I'm 
get me wrong, I love the African movies. They last yesterday. I watched one for for one one movie for like five hours. It had a lot of parts to it. So y'all who got those lamps and still didn't do not with them, get them out, get them done. If I can do it, you can do it too. I know you're using one arm. You're using one arm in my hand. That's it. Line it up. Making sure it's not too much. Because um, I don't put my pictures all the way around. They only go on the front. I think. I think I might be ready to take on some orders for some things. I know people want these lamps. These Barbie lamps and stuff. The little mermaid. I did pretty good with the little mermaid lamps. So these, when I went to my event, they sold pretty fast and I didn't have enough of them. On. Let's see how I do adding some bling. So when putting when putting bling on your products on your on your on your things, take a lighter and just go around the edge of them and get rid of the straggly the stragglies on it. It ain't it's not cute when you see all them straggly little things because when you cut it with the scissors, it's gonna be stragglies on it. These little pieces I don't know if you can see them, but they're all hanging off of it. See the pieces hanging off? That's not cute. It makes your projects look, make your work look tacky because you didn't take time out for the little things. So, for my new crafters, just take a lighter. It ain't gonna mess it up and they're gonna burn it. Just go over it and just little tips on. Um, so I'm going to use the B7000 and I'm going to just basically put some of this bling along the side, but I'm going to stick it on here first before I stick it on there because I can't squeeze with my hand. So I add a nice little amount on it. people gotta use their left hand who never really use their left hand I ain't learn I ain't do the driving thing yet so my car basically still sitting but I'm gonna get bored one of these days and have to go out because I ain't uber cost too much money and depending on people it's too much trouble so eventually I will drive my car see I'm doing this. Hope this is a motivation to some of your people. Nice motivation to y'all to do some too. Listen. And I'm not causing no trauma to my arm. Nothing is it's not moving out of place here. I got my doctor appointment tomorrow on Monday. So I'll get the bandage taken off. 
I've been good. I've been leaving this thing on, haven't taken it off. I did sleep last night. It's hard to sleep with this thing on. Anybody have any suggestions on how to sleep? I slept one night on a recliner chair downstairs. But I don't know. Even after a while, that's, that's not too good either. All right. So I've got one side on. It's looking cute. Put the next side on. That's the good thing about having a rotated cuff pair. You still got, after your hands stop being numb, <laughs> the whole arm was numb. I was able to use it, which made me feel better. with some some silla some glitter silla some sparkly silla put some of that on there probably need to put some across the top because see my white is showing because I didn't per put it on perfectly but for the most part y'all I did my two lamps I'm going to finish up put some of this bling on the base and I'm done hope y'all like my video I hope y'all get some motivation from it now y'all new crafters who just starting crafters this is made out of the foam thing it's on one of my videos it's convenient for holding anything you want it will hold it down so for new crafters if you ain't made one yet you need to watch the video and make it you need some popsicle sticks and some foam and maybe some tape around the edges because of the glue the hot glue burns through the foam so it'll be some sturdy to hold it so make sure y'all make some of those and hold your cups your glass your tumblers anything you want to put bling or something on it's going to hold it so i decided to put some bling at the bottom and on top because some of the pieces of some paper wasn't cut properly I got a diaper cake to make for somebody's baby shower. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and they want four layers of, the, of my tutu diaper cake that I made on my YouTube channel. They want four layers of it.
All right. One down, one more to go. Do you like? There you go. <laughs> I did it. Cute little lad. I hope I was a motivation to y'all. Hit me up if y'all want me to try something. As long as it ain't too hectic. All right, find my, find me on Facebook, Crafting Together S One. Um, you can hit me up on Facebook Messenger, text me, and let me know you want to talk to me, and so I can make sure I'm available for when you're ready to talk. It's called Crafting Together S One with the number one. Run by me and Sharon. Alright, so do the my plan. The bling is just to cover up some of the paper that I didn't cut evenly. And this thing right here is helping a whole lot. Sorry about the aggravation noise. Hot, so gotta have the noise in the background. Not too bad. See, just a teeny little layer around this one. That's all I'm gonna do teeny little layer because I have a little white line down there just showing so I'm going to put that around that and that'll complete this just like a small little bling around it so I'm putting on my last piece of bling on the other Barbie lamp Nothing is impossible. So I'm pretty much finished. My second lamp. Y'all like it? I got my little bling on me around there. This lamp.
All right. All done. My two lamps is done. And Barbie one, Barbie two is ready to go to their new homes. I'm going to do some lamp classes. That was my plan to take some of these lamps and to do like a little lamp decorating thing with the kids. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to help them with my left hand or just one hand. But I got my two lamps. Thanks for watching my video.